I have a question for you. This mortal life we live is like a vapor, and then it's gone. So what are you living for? I mean, what are you really living for? And is it worth dying for? You know, if the truth were known, we all really die for what we live for in the end. Think about it. The man who goes after drugs and alcohol and lives for it will end up dying for it. Either in some drunken fight, in an overdose, a car wreck, or his vital organs become diseased and toxic. He dies in some lonely hospital bed. The man who pursues money and possessions will end up stressed out with so much worldly care and anxiety. He has a heart attack or he lives an unhealthy lifestyle and he gets cancer because he died for what he lived for. Money and possessions will not bring you true happiness. Even billionaires are blowing their brains out. It's not worth living for. You say fame. Now that's worth living for. Getting my name down in the history books as some great politician or famous movie star or singer. Well, let's take a passing movie star who's come and gone, like Rock Hudson. Do you read any articles about him lately in People Magazine? Is he spotlighted on Entertainment Tonight? Any books being written about him now? Maybe a reference in some article. But he's gone. His name is rotting. This generation of young people have grown up who do not know who Rock Hudson is or was. They think maybe he's a giant boulder on the Hudson River or something. No fame is as fleeting as the falling stars. Robin Williams, Michael Jackson, Tom Petty, once their names were larger than life, but now they're just engraved on some cold tombstone in some cemetery. No matter how famous you become, you will not live forever, neither will your name. It's not worth living for, it's surely not worth dying for. It's not even about how long we live or even how happy or comfortable we live in this life that will matter in the end. But only how noble we lived, how we influenced others. Did we love people? Did we choose to do good and not evil? Did we live a sacrificial life of love? Or were we so self-centered, always preoccupied? with our own ambitions and ego. It has been said that what we do in this life, the choices that we make, will echo in eternity. Folks, 10 million years from now, the big house we have, the nice car, all those things won't matter a bit. The huge bank account, we can't take any of it with us. There'll be no U-Hauls behind our hearse. When we slip into eternity, the only thing we'll be able to take with us is our relationship with God, our Creator, the one who will hold us accountable for every idle word and every consequential action and choice that we've made in this life. In eternity, only our relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ will matter. You see, the Lord Jesus lived for us and he died for us. He esteemed our lives worth living for and worth dying for. What kind of love is this? That a king, that a God who rules the universe would humble himself, become a man, and die for me and for you? It's the greatest love story ever told, and yet it's not some Cinderella fairy tale. It is the very truth of God, the very truth of this reality, if you will seek to find it with all your heart. In light of this story, this truth of the sacrificed Lamb of God, 
Everything else is emptiness and vanity compared. It alone will bring you real purpose for living. It alone will shape your destiny on this earth and for all of eternity. It alone is worth living for. It alone is worth dying for. Creator God, He had a plan to redeem the sinful man and to set our souls free. Suffering and death, He'd rather choose than to give up or lose one of us to eternity. something worth dying for he's so much more than this world there was a man the apostle paul so in love with god he gave his all and laid his life down for the least of these in the end they said he made a pledge and sealed it with his very head and though he's gone he still speaks none of these things move me neither do i count my life dear to myself i am ready to be offered up to him to live is Christ and to die is gain he's something worth living for he's something worth dying for he's so much more than this world We live our lives so casual, so very vain and trivial. But what will it matter in the end? There may come a day real soon when we will all have to choose to live for self or die for him. so much more 
than this world is what you're living for worth dying for